let's look at the units we're going to be converting and there are three pairs as I just mentioned centimeters to meters kilometers to meters centimeters to millimeters and in the opposite direction so if you look through the worksheets you'll see I go in both directions on the worksheets the conversion that the students are doing is based around the, a conversion factor between the two units so to know how we need to change the numbers we need to understand how big the relative units are and the metric system makes that really nice and easy for us and I'll explain what I mean so the centimeter has a prefix which is spelled the same everywhere centi in front of the word meter the kilometer similarly has kilo and the millimeter has the prefix milli and those prefixes have very precise mathematical meanings so centi means a hundredth kilo means a thousand and milli means a thousandth so unlike the old-fashioned British units where 12 inches equals a foot and then three three feet equal a yard and 1200 and I've forgotten however many there were <laughs> um, 5280 feet in a mile and so on all those different numbers had to be remembered they they sort of grew during history I think and so they had different numbers of units making up other ones in the metric system because it was planned in advance it's all based on 10 so a centi anything is a hundredth of something so a centilitre is a hundredth of a litre a kilo of anything is a thousand so a kilowatt is a thousand watts and so on so we use those numbers when we're doing the conversion so basically when we're converting and I'm going to just add a little bit more to this messy set of notes if we're converting a number like 150 centimeters to meters we're still going to have the one and the five and we could even have the zero as well they're just going to be in different places because this is a power of 10 and so are all the prefixes in the metric system refer to powers of 10 so centimeters to meters the conversion factor here of course is divided by 100 because these are hundredths of a meter 150 hundredths is how much and this will be 1.5 let me uh, make up a couple of questions here let's say we had 2.6 kilometers how many meters would that be the conversion factor this time is a thousand times or times a thousand 2.6 times a thousand will be 2600 and the last one of these quick examples let's say we had um, oh let's have a nice easy one nine centimeters centimeters to millimeters now there isn't a nice the prefix itself doesn't tell us we have to look at the difference between the prefixes so if this is a hundredth and this is a thousandth the difference of course is 10 so we multiply centimeters by 10 to give us millimeters and that's 90 so each of the conversions as I said is based on this idea of powers of 10 so we're going to reuse the digits in the same order the same relative positions to each other they'll just be in a new place